guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my 34 week pregnancy update and Q&A. Honestly, week 34, nothing really changed since the previous week. Um, we did have a huge crib fiasco, but I am going to make that into its own separate video. So let's go ahead and just jump into the Q&A. Now I didn't get a lot of questions, but I did find um, this like Q&A um, thing on a message board that I figured I would do. Um, but some of the questions that I got, I will go ahead and answer those first and then I will jump into the little like survey thing that I found. So Katie Marie asked um, about if we were going to be revealing her name or not. Yes, we are going to reveal her name, but not until she is born. So once she's born, we will announce her name. Um, another question that she asked is, are we going to introduce her to YouTube? I don't know. Um, we haven't talked about YouTube yet. We did, however, talk about Facebook, and she is not going to be posted on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Sorry, not sorry. Um, we just feel like that is something that it, it'll probably go into with YouTube as well as to not showing her. Um, I might show like certain outfits, but you won't see her face or anything like that. Um, and that is just for her own privacy. Um, she doesn't choose to post her own pictures or post videos on the internet. That's something that I choose to do um, or that her father chooses to do. And so we don't want to do that to her um, because she doesn't really, she's not making a choice. It's not her choice. Um, and so as parents, we have decided to just keep her off of social media um, completely and probably that's going to expand into YouTube as well. Um, now family and friends who want to see pictures of her, we are going to send out like emails and obviously, you know, my mom and my sis siblings and stuff will have group text messages with pictures of her all the time and videos, but as for it being posted online for the masses, we're not going to do it and we've requested that, you know, we've told our family and friends, absolutely not, you're not posting it. Um, do not post pictures of her at all. Um, we might post one picture when she's born of like her birth announcement um, with her name, but that that would be it. That would be the only picture that we would post. So that's where we stand right now. Who knows, it might change in the future. We might decide, you know, that we do want to share her with the world, but for right now, we're going to be super selfish, and she's only going to be shared with the people that we want to share her with. Um, and it's just going to be close family and friends, not everybody. Now let's go on to this little survey thing that I found. Okay, so it says information about you. Name, Megan. Age, 26. Birthday, September 11th. Birthplace, New York. Height, 4'10". Yes, I'm short. I don't care. First. Is this your first pregnancy? Yes. What were your first symptoms? Um, throwing up. <laughs> that was really, that was it. Um, I got normal like pregnancy feelings and then we found out that we got a positive, you know, test and then I started getting really sick. Who did you tell first? Obviously, my boyfriend. Was this baby planned? Um, not by us, but I do believe firmly that God has a plan for everybody and he planned this, not me. So now on to the baby information. When is your due date? May 31st. I will not be making it to May 31st. Guaranteed. Do you want to know the sex? We already found that out. It's a little girl. Do you know the sex? Well, yes. <laughs> if so, boy or girl. I already said girl. Any names? Yes, we have her name picked out. You will find out once she is born. Any ultrasounds? A lot. I think we've had six ultrasounds so far. Have you heard the heartbeat? Yeah, we have since I think week 12, every doctor's appointment we have heard her heartbeat. 
baby's ethnicity. Um, she is going to be a mod podge, not mod podge, a hodgepodge of different ethnicities. So, because she is going to be Irish and Italian and African American and Indian and just Greek, I think, and German, and she, there's a lot of things that she is going to be. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Who do you think your baby will look like? I have no idea, honestly, because I think that I was kind of an ugly baby when I look at my pictures, like my baby pictures. I, I think I looked like an ugly baby, but when I got to be a kid, like when I was a toddler, I was a cute kid, but when I was a, like an infant, oh, maybe like after I was like four months old, I started to get cute, but when I was just an infant, I was just like, I had a big old head and <laughs> wasn't, was not cute. Um, so I don't know who she'll look like, but I hope she's a cute baby. DJ actually, he, we were talking about it last week at the doctor's and we were talking about like how, you know, some people, they have ugly kids, but you're like, oh, you're cute. how precious. Oh, what a, what a little baby. Oh, the little baby, you know, type of thing. Instead of, oh my gosh, she's adorable or he's the cutest little thing ever. Uh, I was like, what if our kid is ugly? He goes, well, then we're going to have an ugly kid. So, I mean, he's. At least he knows, like, it could happen. Like, we could have an ugly kid. I hope not. But, I mean, if she is, I'll love her regardless of what she looks like. I don't care what she looks like. She could come out with three eyeballs, and I would still love her. She does not have three eyeballs, although she could because she tends to not let us see her whole face in ultrasounds. She likes to hide herself. Will baby have any siblings? I hope so in the future, but I mean, we're not planning on getting pregnant right away. We're, we're going to focus on this one first. Oh, and she has Joey, our wiener dog. He's sitting, like, per like guarding me. He's so weird. What are you doing? Are you protecting mama? Are you protecting mama and your sister? Yeah, you're a crazy man. Um, have you and dad felt baby move? Yes, all the time. She, I say that she has 2 a.m. dance parties because she just goes psychotic in the middle of the night for no, like, come on, I'm trying to sleep. When I'm up and moving, she's like solid. When I lay down, she's crazy. She's just a crazy girl. Did you have morning sickness? Yes, very bad to the point where I needed to get a prescription for medication because it had been four days and I couldn't even keep water down. Did you have any cravings? Well, it's saying did, like I already had the baby, but um, have I had any cravings? Not really. I would say the only real craving that I have had, and it's not even really a craving because to me, I consider a craving, like, if I don't get it, I will kill somebody type of thing. But there have been things that I have wanted, um, like, <laughs> on the coldest day that you could possibly think of. It was negative 22 degrees outside, and I really wanted a blizzard <laughs> from Dairy Queen. And so my mom's husband picked one up on his way home, and then... <laughs> When he got to my mom's house, my mom got in her truck and she brought it to me um, because there was no way that I was going to get one because DJ was working that night and the only way that I was going to get one was like two days later and they were like, she needs it now. And I was like, I really don't. But that and then I woke up one morning and I really, really wanted a cookie dough um, iced coffee from Dunkin Donuts. Oh, they're so delicious, but that's really it. I haven't really been like, I need such and such. So, and it really bothers DJ because 
the other day we were driving and we were trying to figure out what to eat and he was like can you just give mom a craving can you like talking to my belly he was like can you just tell her what you want just order something so that we can go get it nothing i was like nope <laughs> whatever whatever you want we'll get it and that bothers him so bad because he feels like i'm the pregnant one i should be getting what i want i i don't have a craving and it, it bugs him it bugs me too because, you know, sometimes you're just like, I just wish that I knew what I wanted, but no. He's like, you're even more indecisive now that you're pregnant than you were before you were pregnant. I'm like, yep. <laughs> <clears throat> Have you had any mood swings? <laughs> yes. The other night I was just thinking about stuff and just started bawling my eyes out, like uncontrollably sobbing. And, <coughs> excuse me, I was actually planning on recording this video that night. And I like did my makeup, half my makeup was done and I had to go downstairs to get the rest of it. And when I came back, like I didn't even make it back upstairs. Like I just made it to the couch and was just bawling my eyes out. DJ came home. Um, while he was working he came home for a little bit and he looked at me and he goes did you record a video and I was like no he was like okay why'd you say it like that and I was like well because as you can see I have some makeup on but I came down to get the rest of my makeup so I could record the video and I just started sobbing uncontrollably and he was like oh boo and I was like don't oh boo me and I told him like why I started crying and he was like, it's okay, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I, I mean, really what I was crying about, it was really first world problems, but I don't wanna, like, there's just so much going on and I just don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings and so, you know, he was just telling me it's gonna be okay, don't, you know, let's not worry about that right now, we'll worry about that and people's feelings later. Um, are you a high risk pregnancy? No. Any complications? Um, I've been out of work since 27 weeks, so yes. <laughs> um, complications of lots of pain and contractions and pain that caused me to be doubled over like this at 27 weeks. Not normal. When did you start to show? Um, I really started to show at about 18 weeks, uh, well no, like at 20 weeks I really started to show. At 16 weeks it was like, hmm, maybe, but definitely at 20 weeks it was like, there's something going on with that girl. Um, but even, like I could still wear my normal clothes, like I wasn't wearing maternity clothes really at all. Um, I was still just wearing normal clothes and so I, I want to say that it was like 23 weeks is when it was like bam there's a belly there like I woke up and came to work one day and it was like oh she's pregnant <laughs> um, how long could you wear regular clothes I mean I'm still wearing regular clothes at this point it just depends on what it is um, some shirts I can still wear other t other shirts, it's like, I have this much belly poking out at the bottom. Um, I'm still wearing a bunch of my, all of my yoga pants and my leggings and sweatpants. I can still fit into all of those. Pajama pants, not so much because my waist, um, my hips are wider now, so I can't fit those. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm still, I can still fit into a lot of my normal clothes. Are you excited? I am nervous, but excited. I can't wait, but I can't at the same time. Who will help with baby after they're born? Um, her father, my mom, my sister, uh, his mom, his sister, my brother, my cousin, my grandmas, ev like everybody is my aunts. Um, did I say cousins? Like everybody is so like ready and willing to help they can't wait everybody in my family is obsessed with babies so she is not going oh <laughs> it's okay 
<laughs> I dropped my phone and he got scared. Come here, it's okay, baby. I'm sorry, Mama didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. Whoops. What is the, what is your favorite thing about being pregnant? My favorite thing about being pregnant is knowing that at the end of this, I will have a baby. What is the worst thing about being pregnant? The pain and not being to work since 27 weeks. Okay, so DJ came home, so I don't know if you heard the answer to the last question, so I'll go ahead and just answer it again. Um, what is the worst thing about... Wait, did I answer what's your favorite thing about being pregnant? Yes, I did, because I said baby at the end. So, what is the worst thing about being pregnant? Um, being taken out of work at 27 weeks. That is the worst. Worst, 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 worst thing about being pregnant. Um, what well, one thing do you miss doing since being pregnant? Seeing my feet. I cannot see them. Um, next. Any days you wish you weren't pregnant? Seeing as I am in the home stretch, yes, every day I have, I just wish that it was over already because I'm just in so much pain and I just kind of want to take my belly off and just set it down over there for a minute because it just hurts. And also when I'm trying to sleep, it kills my hips because there's so much weight now there that... I just, it, it's hard for me to sleep on my side when I'm not pregnant, so I usually sleep on my stomach. Oh, I miss that. I miss sleeping on my stomach for sure. Um, are you ready for baby? Um, I think mentally and emotionally, yes, but like physically with the house, no, and mentally I am not prepared for labor. Or emotionally, I'm not prepared, not, not are prepared, not prepared for labor. Um, and my hospital bag is still not completely packed. So, I have a lot to do in the next few days. Do you have insurance? Yes. If I didn't, we would be in debt even more. <laughs> How many kids do you want? Well... I want six. And DJ's like, how about we just have this one? So we, that's obviously something that we'll have to talk about with having more kids in the future, but for right now, we're just going to have one. And you never know what the future holds. So I definitely, I want six. And no, I do not have to give birth to all six children. Um, I only have to give birth to one of them because, I mean, she's already here. Well, not here, but she's already inside. She's, I'm going to give birth to at least one. So we could adopt the other five. That's totally cool with me. Do you talk to your baby? Yes, I do, especially when she is beating me up. I kind of yell at her. Not yell, but like sternly tell her to cut it out. Do you still feel attractive? No, I do not. I feel like a giant whale, like a beached whale. And I feel like I look like one. <clears throat> have you had your baby shower? Yes, it was almost a month ago and I still have not completed the thank you notes. That's on my list of things to do in the next couple of days. Do you like kids? I like some of them. Not all kids, but I like mine, I hope. How far along are you now? Well, this is my 34-week update, but I am currently 36 weeks and 4 days. So, for the past 2 weeks, she has been able to, almost 3 weeks now, she has been able to be born, but officially, if she starts coming now, I won't have to get any um, shots or anything like that for steroids to um, mature her lungs. Her lungs are as matured as they're going to get. So I am trying to keep her in though until May 17th because I'm going to be selfish and I don't want to share Mother's Day with her. 
I don't. I don't want Mother's Day and her birthday to ever be on the same day. Call me selfish, whatever, I don't care. DJ got to miss his birthday of her being born. I made sure that she wasn't, like, I didn't make sure because there's nothing that I can do about it, but she was not born on his birthday, which was May 4th, which was Monday. So I do not want her born on any day that is Mother's Day. And Mother's Day can be up to May 14th. And then May 15th and 16th, my sister has a performance. Um, she's in a play with the theater league. Um, I don't know what it's called, but she is in a production of Aladdin and I don't want to miss it. And I don't want her to have to miss one of her shows because, she, excuse me, because she has to go to the hospital because her niece is coming. So with that being said, the 17th, she can be born any day after May 17th. Total weight gain. So my pre-pregnancy weight was about 110, and as of today, May 7th, which is 36 weeks and 4 days pregnant for me, I am 153, no, 152 pounds. So I have officially gained 42 pounds so far this pregnancy, and it is mostly belly, but, and... <clears throat> It's mostly belly, and I have recently, in the past couple of weeks, started taking on water rate, water weight, and just retaining water all over. Um, so that has contributed because I gained two pounds in the last week, and it's just it's mostly water weight. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. Food aversions, hot coffee, ramen noodles, pizza. I'm not, I haven't been a big fan of pizza. Like before I could eat pizza, if you would have asked me what is your favorite food, what food, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life every day, I would have said pizza. Now, no. And I, I think it's just because it's hot. Like hot things just have not been appealing to me at all. Um, so hot coffee, pizza. Coke, Coca-Cola, um, dark sodas in general, um, ramen noodles, oatmeal, because those are <laughs> all I could eat when I was having morning sickness, um, ginger ale, that's it I think. I think those are my big food aversions that I have had. Um, belly button in or out? It is still an innie and I am so happy and I hope it stays an innie for the next three weeks because I've got at least three weeks, well not at least, I have at the most three weeks left but I will not be making it that long so um, I'm really hoping that it stays an innie. <clears throat> Because I've heard that it hurts. The Audis, when they poke out, it hurts. And I don't want it to hurt. Um, <clears throat> and finally, what am I most looking forward to? Not being pregnant anymore and holding the little baby in my arms. I can't wait to hold her and see what she looks like and give her kisses and not have her butt in my ribs anymore. That'll be a great day in my life. So, <clears throat> that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any further questions for me about my pregnancy, be sure to leave them as a comment below. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Love you. Mwah. Bye.